so we are continuing the show it is interrupted by telephone call sorry now so i'll repeat there is a grape plant and then there is red color basal alba here this one and then there is ash gold this one and the plant is continue to grow because i'm continue to feed it and then there is dioscoria now where dioscoria has spread quite uh, energetically all over the place and underneath is the ginger ginger turmeric i want to show two more species here this is uh, that portulaca which we call nella basle we all like it very much as a summer vegetable and there are two types of weeds here which are edible this one i forgot its name and then underneath there is the shatti camphoria galangal there is one plant here and then there is one more there so no weeding too much sun and uh, and too much shade i mean and then uh, no watering all kind of funny conditions it thrived very well so once you plant it you can forget about this sati only thing is no one should step on it it grows well with ginger ginger grows well along with turmeric so all three can be taken up in this jungly way of uh, cultivation and one more plant two more plants to show okay. this is arrow root this is a very important uh, nutritious kind of a tuber and uh, i spread it all over the forest farm garden earth now wherever soil is fully healed it's growing very well and beautiful uh, uh, those tubers and see the earth here is rich dark brown and then uh, here everything can any crop will grow beautifully and healthy no question of sickness here and one more plant is there that wild ginger all are crowded up here but they are uh, quite happy this is a wild ginger it's a little bigger version of the domestic variety and the smell is less spicy leaf shape is the same and then the flowers are also the same but bigger these flowers when they open again i'll make a separate video and then we have more gingers here ginger all the ginger has been fed with vermi compost so that's the progress on the gingers